fam, how you doing? It's me, Jordan again, Six Year Middle Age Natural Beauty, and I am back with another post chop update. I can't even tell you how long it's been. It's been a year and some months. I know that much. Anyway, um, yeah, so if you guys have been keeping up with not only my uh YouTube posts but some of my Facebook posts. Um, you'll see that after my last update, I actually um, cut the dyed parts off my hair, the colored parts. And that right there, I feel, really, really did my hair a lot of good. Um, it's been a long time since my hair has been in its natural color. I mean, you know, this, which is a brown black. Um, I guess if I was to buy um, some... Oh, this feels this feels so good. I love my dim and brush. Uh, if I was to buy some um, uh, braids to braid my hair, uh, I'd probably get a two. So that's about the color of my hair. I guess you can kind of see when the light hits my hair that it's not black. It's like a brownish black. So anyway, that's what's going on here. So I might have a few, just a few little tips that are still kind of kind of red but that's okay I um they'll eventually fade away yeah so um <sighs> let's see what's going on well my undercut grew back in <laughs> that's a good thing let me show you guys it grew back in yeah so it's about mm, I guess that's a good three inches yeah, a good solid three inches. So that grew back in. Thank God. Um, that was something I was like really, really kind of, I regret it. Of all the things I did with my hair, I regretted doing that undercut. And I won't be doing that again. Um, you see, how am I wearing my hair these days? Mostly I'll just brush it all up, put it in a puff. And put a bigger puff on top of that puff. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's really all I'm doing with my hair. Um, that's my computer, you guys. I'm sorry. I um, I still wash my hair once a week. Um, what is that? Okay, I still wash my hair once a week. Um, and I'm still using the same products. Um... The, I think the only difference is, the only difference that I may have um, added to my regimen is that in the morning, well, I guess you really can't say it's different because when my hair was in a, in a big, big chop, I would spray it with conditioner, put the gel, you know, the oil in the gel. And I still do that. Um, I'll spray my hair with conditioner so that I can get it, um, you know, gather it all up for my ponytail and once I do that then I'll just put it all up in my little bun my little um what do you call it? my little um puff and then I'll put my store bought puff on top of it my hair right now is really really soft and really shiny you can see it's shiny I um I do some people don't do this but I'm kind of old school and I do oil my scalp so some of the good some things that's really good to oil your scalp with is like nature's blessing it's a conditioning uh, pomade it's really good um, for me I like to use um, castor oil so that helps sometimes jojoba oil that helps and um, one thing I've always loved to do with my hair is just what I'm doing now is brushing it after I take it down when I get off of work brush my hair brush 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 um I almost almost went and put some more locks in my hair maybe about a month ago maybe about a month and a half ago I actually made an appointment with a loctician to get some interlock started 
I went to to get the um, the uh, consultation. I went to the consultation because um, at first he was willing to just you know quote me a price and we just get started. But I told him I said no, I think you should really see my hair. So when I went to him, I had my hair sectioned off and you know in, di in different you know <coughs> excuse me sectioned off in braids and. And he appreciated the fact that I did that because I think that would have, if I, if we had, if we were going to do the, the locks that day, he could have just started with those sections, um, for, for the grid, but that's not what we did. Um, he, he looked at my hair, he quoted me a price, um, and then I made an appointment. Just so happens that the day I made the appointment for, we had, um, a big, not event, but we had some unexpected visitors at my job. So um, I ended up having to work that day and cancel my appointment, the day of my appointment. And uh, of course, um, he was kind enough to not charge me a deposit at that time. But then he told me that, you know, because of the situation that next time I would have to put down a hundred dollar deposit, which was fine. I had no problem with that, but it's just, I, had, I hadn't made the time or didn't feel like I actually had the time to um, go back and make another appointment. In the meantime, in the between time, I still um, kept up with my own regimen and do the things that I do. And um, I've fallen more deeply in love with my loose natural hair. Um, every time I see people, with, you know, all my sisters and brothers with locks, I do admire them, but it doesn't make me want them anymore. Um, there's very few people with locks now that I can say that I have lock envy, um, for, um, there are beautiful, don't get me wrong, there are some beautiful locks out there, but I just don't want them right now. Um, when I see big, beautiful afros that are um the result of a big beautiful natural twist out that's what i want that's what i'm looking forward to and when i see these sisters that have transitioned to gray beautiful silver gray with these big beautiful afro twist out that's what i want of course mine won't be exactly like theirs but it'll be mine Okay, so let me show you guys. You guys know I was always kind of um, looking forward to my, my silver. I guess you can kind of see a little bit right here. Um, so I'm going to pull my hair back so you can see that I do have... Would you? I wish you could see it like up close and personal because up close and personal, it's like, like this where it looks thin. It's not thin. All that is silver. It's. I mean, when I do this, you can see it. But it's silver, and like when I wear my hair in my little puffs and I pull it back, it's silver, and I, I love it. I really love it. So uh, one thing I don't do because I'm in the healthcare industry is I do not, I do not wear my hair loose at work, and I will not. I don't think I'll ever wear it loose at work because, you know, all the stuff that's in the air nowadays, on services nowadays, can get in your hair too. So I just, I just don't, um, I just, I'm not for that. Anyway, I just want to give you guys uh, an update. And in my hair, it feels really, really soft. Um, no different, no different products that than I used before. Um, still, like I said, I wash my hair with. Um, well, I do wash my hair. I switch up the shampoo sometimes. I wash my hair with. Carol's daughter. <coughs> Excuse me, I wash my hair with Carol's daughter um, shampoo, and I still use their spray in her spray in leave in conditioner, um, and then sometimes I may use um, cream of nature with argan oil uh, shampoo. When you, know, I've been having it for forever. So when I ran out of my other shampoo, I was like, well, let me use what I have. I'm tired of wasting money on these products that's just sitting here. So. I just used what I had, and that was what I had. So anyway, um, so then I had bought this 
uh, deep conditioner off of Amazon. It cost me $35. And guess what? I will never buy it again. Wasn't that on cue? I would never buy it again because it was to me it was just a waste. Um, it didn't do well. No, let me let me let me let me let me take that back. Excuse me, it wasn't a waste. But what that conditioner does, I can achieve on my own without spending that kind of money, and that's what I have done. So anyway, um, I maybe maybe at the end of this video I'll just line the products up so you can see what I'm using. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Um, but yeah, and I still like put my hair in a bunch of little plaits before I go to bed, cover it up. And that's it. Um, I don't put, oh, and I, for gel, I still use the Pro Style. Is it Pro Style? Yeah, the, um, is it Pro Style? No, it's not Pro Style. I can't remember the name of the gel, you guys. Anyway, you guys know. The green gel with the black top. And it's got flaxseed oil in it and castor oil. It's really good gel. <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember it. Anyway, but that's it, you guys. My um, That's it for my hair. That's what I do for my hair. I can actually say hair now. It's not hat because it's long enough. So I'm just going to turn around and let you guys see what's going on back there. It's just a big puff. So you guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It's um, kind of a variety channel. Right now I'm just dealing with hair. I'm going to bring back a subject that I had kind of abandoned for a while. But since I'm experiencing so much of this, what I'm getting ready to tell you about, uh, well, the next, the next video oh, is going to be enlightening for some of you guys. Anyway, um, yeah, so subscribe. Like the video if you like it. If you don't like it, you don't have to. You can put a thumbs down. It don't matter to me. I ain't get paid. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so um, share with your friends. Um, leave a comment. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.